Hello, welcome to Enjoy English School. I'm Stephen. 我是 Mini. And today's topic is biography. 那今天的主题是人物传记 We're going to cover pages forty six to forty nine for October twenty second to the twenty third. All right. The title of today is "The Retirement of a Japanese Baseball Legend." 今天的主题呢是要讲我们棒球的传说永流传。我们今天要讲的是铃木一郎哦。So retirement is the noun form of retire, which means to stop working once you reach a once you reach a certain age, like sixty five. Or when your bank account got enough money inside. Yes, that's definitely very important. Yes. 那 retirement 这个字呢，它其实就是 retire。退休这个字的名词形式，那大概台湾来讲的话，退休年纪大概就是在六十五岁左右。Mm-hmm. Ichiro Suzuki may have stopped playing pro baseball, but he hasn't stopped influencing the sport. 铃木一郎呢，也许他已经不再打职业棒球了，但是他还持续的影响了这一项活动。So when we say may have stopped, that's like a probability. 所以，当我们讲到 may have stopped 的时候，它其实就是一个也许的情况。Pro baseball is just a short way to say professional baseball. 那 pro baseball 它是一个比较简短的方式去讲 professional 这个字。And we see the word influencing. That means to affect. 那 influencing 这个字就代表它是影响的意思。So let's get started. 那我们就要开始喽。On March twenty first, twenty nineteen, Japanese baseball legend Ichiro Suzuki said goodbye in front of thousands of fans in Tokyo. 日本棒球的传奇球星铃木一郎，他在二零一九年的三月二十一号在东京的时候，跟成千上万的粉丝道别了。So in English, a lot of times when it's a date, we always put that in the beginning, so it's a setting to let people know when it happened. So in English, 里面很多的时间我们都会把它放在句首，这样子别人就可以很清楚的知道什么时候发生的哦。So we on for a date, a specific date, we put on March twenty first. Like let's say if it was for today, we would say on October twenty second. So in English, 里面表达日期，我们通常都会用介系词 on。然后再加上特定的日期，就像如果是今天，那我们就会说 on 十月二十二号。And also remember, it's not March twenty one; it's March twenty first because this is twenty first day of the month. 那要特别特别记得，如果你要形容的是日期的话，记得要用序数。所以如果是二十一号，就不是 twenty one， 它就会变成 twenty first. And for the year two thousand and nineteen, you can also say twenty nineteen. 然后，如果要表达年份的话，两千一九年，你也可以用二零一九来表达。All right. So for Japanese names, Ichiro Suzuki. One thing I want to point out is in Japan they might say Suzuki Ichiro because the Japanese, just like the Chinese, we put the surname or last name in front. Surname is spelled S U R N A M E. 所以在我们文章里面呢 ，Suzuki 其实是姓。那因为我们这篇文章是用英文的形式写，所以我们会先写名字，再写姓氏。但其实，在日本的文化里面，跟我们华人文化一样哦，他们是先把姓氏讲在前面，然后才讲名字哦。那刚刚老师有特别提到，姓氏的英文叫做 surname， 不要忘记哦。In front of thousands of fans. So when we say in front of thousands, you see there's an S at the end of thousand, which means it's a plural. That means that maybe there's two thousand or three thousand. There's many thousands. So in front of thousands, you can see thousand 这个字后面加了一个 s. 它加了 s 的意思其实就代表很多数以千计的意思。所以它不是真的代表一千或两千哦，它代表就是很多的意思。After a long professional baseball career in both Japan and the U.S., he retired at the age of forty-four. 在他长期在日本及美国打职棒了之后，他终于在四十四岁的时候退休了。So here we see the word long. It doesn't really mean like something that has a really long length. Here it means a long time. 那你这边看到 long 这个字指的不是真的有很长的呃长度，它其实是指的时间很长的意思。And what is a career? Another word for career is a job, but it has a deeper meaning. It means a job that has many opportunities that make you progress, make you grow. 那 career 这个字，它其实就是工作的意思，但它还有另外一个层面意思，就是它有一个更深层的，让你成长，让你更进步的那个意思。All right, and here we see the number forty-four. We can say at the age forty-four or at the age of forty-four. Both are constantly seen. 
那在英文里面表达年纪的方式，你可以看到这边有一个四十四岁。那在英文里面，我们可以用 at the age of 加了 of， 也可以不用加 of 哦。Mm, but if you want to take out of, we would say at age forty four. There wouldn't be the. 那如果你要把 off 拿掉的话，记得也要把的一起拿掉，变成 at age forty four. And forty four has a t, f o r t y, but we often read it as d, forty four. Okay. 那在拼字上面有 t， 要记得，但是发音的时候我们用 d 的方式来发音。During his time playing, Ichiro changed the way people play the sport. 那在他上场打球的时间呢，铃木一郎改变了人们对这项运动，也就是棒球的看法。All right. So during it also means throughout a period of time. 那 during 这个字呢，其实就是在一段时间的意思。Well, let's see how he changed the sport. Okay. 那我们就来看看喽。Let's take a break. Ichiro began his professional career in Japan in the early 1990s with the Oryx Blue Wave. 那铃木一郎呢，在九零年代的早期，在欧力士蓝浪队开启了他在日本的这个职业生涯。So why do we say professional career? Actually, when you start working, you already started your career. But because he joined a professional baseball team, that's why we would say professional career. 那这边为什么我们要特别特别只用那个 professional 这个字？其实你有在工作，你就有个 career。但是因为他加入了一个职业的球队，所以我们把他前面加了 professional， 代表他参加了职业球队哦。So we don't really know exactly when that started. Maybe it was 1991, 1992. So sometimes we would just lump it together and say in the early 1990s. 所以我们其实不太确定它到底是一九九一还是一九九二年开始的。所以我们要统称就说它是九零年代。哎，不管它在哪一年开始，我都还没出生哦。<laughs> <laughs> All right. So then, if we want to say in the Late 1990s, like it would be 1995 and maybe to 1999, we would say in the late 1990s. And also, instead of 1990s, we can also just say 90s. 那不管它是在一九九五还是到一九九九这个之间，我们就会说它是在九零年代的晚期。那我们就会用九零年代来包括整个这个过程。So at first, his coaches didn't think very highly of him. 那在刚开始的时候呢，他的教练其实对他评价并不高哦。At first is another way to say in the beginning. At first 是另外一个讲开始 in the beginning 的用法。And when you think highly of someone, that means you really respect them, or you think that they're really cool, or you you just think that they're really amazing. But when you think when you don't think highly of someone, that means you don't really respect them. 那 think highly of 人。这个用法就代表你对某人的评价高不高，那就又牵扯到你对他有没有一种很钦佩啊、很尊敬的这个用法。那当然，相反的话就是比较贬义啦。嗯哼 ，He was a small, skinny player who looked strange when he swung the bat. 林木一郎本来是一个非常瘦小的球员，而且当他做这个挥棒的动作的时候，看起来也很奇怪。嗯哼 ，So. Small and skinny are two adjectives to describe player. Every time we have two adjectives, we have to put a comma in between them, unless there's a color. If it was like a blue small player, we don't need a comma in between those two. 所以你这边可以看到 small 跟 skinny， 它是两个形容词来形容我们这个球员。那你这边要特别注意是，当你放两个形容词在中间的时候呢，中间要有个逗号把它隔开，除非你加的是颜色，那中间就不需要加逗号啦。So skinny player, skinny this adjective. There's another word which I think is quite funny and I like to hear is scrawny. Scrawny. Yeah, we, if you say someone is a very small and very skinny player, you could also say that he's very scrawny, which is spelled s. C R A W N Y, scrawny. So, 刚刚老师补充了一个很特别字叫 scrawny. 如果你觉得他又小又瘦，你就可以直接用 scrawny 这个字去形容他哦。Okay, so when you say somebody looks strange, that means that it looks kind of funny. It looks kind of weird. 所以，当你说一个人看起来很怪异的时候。就代表你觉得他看起来很好笑，然后看起来有点奇特。嗯哼。So when did he look strange? Whenever he swung the bat. Remember, a lot of verbs when they're put in past tense is not、mm -hmm. just adding ed.、Oh. Swung is the past tense of swing. 
，所以他这边用的 s w 这个字其实是 swing 的过去式。那要特别记得哦，不是所有的动词都是加 ed 就变过去式哦，有一些是不规则变化动词。Ichiro quickly proved them all wrong, though. 尽管如此，铃木一郎很快的就去证明了大家对他的看法是错误的。When you put though at the end of a sentence, we often put a comma in front of it, so look out for that. 那通常你如果用 though 在这个句子最后面，我们前面会加一个逗号把它隔开。So what does prove someone wrong means? It means when everyone thinks you're a certain way,、mm-hmm. you do something that makes them change their mind. Oh, I was wrong to think that of you. 所以刚刚有特别提到 prove 人 wrong 这个字，它其实就是在证明说某人是错的。所以当有人觉得你不好，有人看低了你，那你就会做一些事情，把你自己的那个名声带回来，就是 prove them wrong。So here though is showing a contradiction to what happened before. So if you think though was a little bit hard to use, you could also put but in front of the sentence. It would mean the same thing. For instance, but Ichiro quickly proved them all wrong. 那这边 do 呢，它其实就是一个有一点把原本反义的句子搬正，或把正义的句子搬反的一个用法。那除了 do 这个字，如果你觉得很难使用的话，你可以用 but。那就像老师刚刚示范的一样，把 but 放在句首，然后再讲刚刚句子，就很完整喽。He soon became the Japanese league's best hitter and led his team to win the championship. 然后铃木一郎呢，很快的就成为日本职棒中打的最棒。的打者，然后呢，带领自己所属的球队赢得了冠军哦。So league is also another word to say like a team or an organization of many teams. 所以 league 它其实就是联盟的意思，它可以指的是一个球队，也可以指的是一个所有球队加起来的一个联盟。Best hitter. So someone who hits hit means to strike something, right? So with baseball, the person who hits it hits a ball is the person who hits it with the baseball bat. So he was the best hitter. So hit 这个字它其实就是打击的意思。那在这个棒球这个领域里面，打击的人其实就是打者啦。So here it says, "Led his team to win the championship." When we say someone leads their team to do something, that means it's because of something they did, which causes everybody else to be able to win first place championship. So he uses "lead" this word, which means he is leading the team. That means he is playing an important role. He needs to lead, and then he can lead the team to the championship. After several years, Ichiro needed a bigger challenge. 几年之后呢？铃木一郎需要一项更大的挑战。So here, after several years, several is an adjective that we put in front of years when we don't really say how many years. Maybe it's two or three or four.、Mm-hmm. We don't specify. It's a good word to use to generalize. 所以 several 这个字它是形容词，通常放在一个复数的名词前面。那这个字，当你不知道到底多少的时候，这个字就非常好用啊。它广义的形容许多的意思。Mm-hmm. So he signed with the Seattle Mariners, a professional baseball team in the U.S. 所以他就在美国的职业球团呢，跟这个西雅图的这个水手队来签约喽。So why does it signed? Because he signed a contract with them. So that's why we would say he signed with the Seattle Mariners. 所以我们为什么用 sign 呢？因为 sign 它其实就有签约、签订合约的这个意思，所以我们直接用 sign 这个动词来当当做代表。All right, so let's take a break. Many people thought Ichiro would fail in the U.S. because he was too small. 许多人认为呢，铃木一郎其实他到美国挑战大联盟一定会失败，因为他的个头真的太小了。So a lot of my friends in Taiwan, they're very confused about would. Like, when do I use would? Would is the past tense of will. 那在台湾呢？刚刚老师有特别提到，他有很多的同学、很多的朋友都搞不清楚 would 什么时候要使用。那其实 would 就是 will 的过去式哦。So if you look here, if I said many people thought Ichiro will fail, that means that it hasn't happened yet. But everything that we're talking about happened in the past, and at that time they thought that he would fail, but he didn't. 所以在这边，刚刚那个句子呢，是每个人都预先认为他到了美国之后会失败，但是事实上呢，他其实没有失败，所以我们就会用 would 这个用法。So here the adjective small, maybe some people would think 
maybe some people will think that's young, right? But we wouldn't say that someone is small by saying that they're young or saying they're young by saying they're small. Here they mean by size. They think he's too small in size. 所以当你看到 small 这个字的时候，很多人会觉得说他是不是只说哦年纪小的意思？但是其实，在英文里面，年纪小我们不会用 small 这个字来表示。只有当你觉得人家的个头很小、体型很小、尺寸很小的时候，我们才会用 small 这个字哦。However. He was just as good in the U.S. as he was in Japan. 然而，他在美国的表现其实既然跟他在日本的表现是一样好的哦。So here I want to talk about the grammar just as good, and then we put something in the middle there as and something in there. So it's just as good as just as good A as B. That means it's the same amount, same amount of good. 其实这边提到一个文法，也是我们其实是国中的文法，就是 as 形容词 as 的用法。那这边特别提到 as good as， 其实就是 a 和 b 是一样好的情况。Mm-hmm. So here, instead of a being one thing, it's saying in the U.S. That means when he's playing in the U.S., he plays just as well as he plays in Japan. 所以在这边，除了我们不是用真的物品来当做这个句子的 a， 我们是用在美国，所以。这边呢 ，A 跟 B 其实它就是用了一个介系词片语，在美国跟在日本这两个用 in 当做是开头的主词。Later, when the World Baseball Classic started in 2006, or 20,、uh, actually here you can't say 2006,、oh. we would just say 2006.、Mm. Ichiro returned home to play for his country. 那在二零零六年之后啊，世界这个棒球的经典赛开打的时候，铃木一郎竟然回到家乡为他的国家效力哦。So here later we will put a comma after that because it's a transition letting us know the setting of this sentence. So when I'm reading it, when I'm saying it to somebody, I would actually pause there as well. Later. When the World Baseball Classic, so you see, I have a pause there. 嗯，所以用 later 这个字的时候，注意我们在书写的时候后面要有逗号，甚至你在讲话、在表达的时候，我们中间也会有个停顿，让别人知道说，哦，这个句子其实是一个转成的地方哦。And at the end of the sentence, it says that Ichiro returned home to play for his country. We know his country is Japan, but because Japan, this word has been Seen a lot already in this excerpt. We're trying to use a different way to describe that, so that's why the writer wrote his country. It's just another way to say it. So in this sentence, the last sentence, we can see that he said he returned home to play for his country. That actually, when we read this article, you already know that Ichiro is from Japan. But we have mentioned Japan too many times, so at this point, our writer is very smart and uses his country to represent Japan. He got 12 hits in the tournament and helped his country win the World Series. He got 12 hits in the tournament and helped Japan win. First place. He in this tournament scored 12 runs, helping Japan win the gold medal. So, what's a hit in baseball? Hit in baseball means a hit. Hit 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 means A benefit of an error, and you reached a first base. So, just now, the teacher used to use English to explain what is an out. It means that you hit the ball to a specific area, like the green fair, right? The green place. Then, fair is also fair. Fair, fair territory. Oh, so, so anywhere on the field without somebody catching it, because、ah. when they catch it, that's an out. 完蛋了！现在大家都知道我们俩其实根本不懂棒球，<笑><笑>所以希望大家了解安打的意思哦。All right, so now let's go into the review section. 那我们现在就要复习喽。Retirement， 退休。And it's a noun， 名词。Legend， 传奇。Retire， which is the verb。Retire 是它的动词。Professional, professional 专业的或职业的。Or the short form, pro. 那它的可以讲的比较短一点，就是 pro. Skinny, skinny 就是瘦小的。League, league 就是我们所谓的联盟。Lead one's team to do something. 带领你的球队或者是团队去做什么事情。Championship, 冠军。Sign with, 签约 Tournament, tournament 就是我们的锦标赛 All right, we also learned the word scrawny. 那我们刚刚也学到 scrawny 这个字，其实就是 skinny 跟 small 的合体，瘦小的 Also lump together. 
还有 lump together， 就是把它聚集在一起。All right, so today we learned a lot about Ichiro Suzuki, but tomorrow we're going to learn a lot more about him. So make sure to tune in. All right. 那今天我们学到很多跟铃木一郎有关系的故事啊，但是明天我们会继续讲他的故事，还有他的一些事迹哦。记得要关注我们哦。然后，如果你想要复习今天的影片，可以到 YouTube 上面寻找《长春藤英文》，就可以再看一次喽。See you guys next time. Bye bye. The retirement of a Japanese baseball legend. On March 21, 2019, Japanese baseball legend Ichiro Suzuki said goodbye in front of thousands of fans in Tokyo. After a long professional baseball career in both Japan and the U.S., he retired at the age of 44. During his time playing. Ichiro changed the way people play the sport. Ichiro began his professional career in Japan in the early 1990s with the Oryx Blue Wave. At first, his coaches didn't think very highly of him. He was a small, skinny player who looked strange when he swung the bat. Ichiro quickly proved them all wrong, though. He soon became the Japanese league's best hitter and led his team to win the championship. After several years, Ichiro needed a bigger challenge, so he signed with the Seattle Mariners, a professional baseball team in the U.S. Many people thought Ichiro would fail in the U.S. because he was too small. However, he was just as good in the U.S. as he was in Japan. Later, when the World Baseball Classic started in 2006, Ichiro returned home to play for his country. He got 12 hits in the tournament and helped Japan win first place.